You have to document it. Hey, Duff here. Yep, we're towing the RV again for the second time. Can we do it? Can we do it again? So last time we did this actually was a test run that we did uh, shortly after getting the RV just to see how the Tacoma would be on the road pulling a 5,800 pound RV, dry weight. And the answer was okay. And believe it or not, the Tacoma has not towed the RV since then. We've owned the RV for about a year and a half. And uh, Cindy bought it primarily uh, to be like a she shed, basically, like her own space. But over time, we just came to realize that it wasn't really a, a financially prudent decision to have that, that kind of money just sitting out there in the backyard. So what I'm doing now is I am taking the RV back to Camping World where we bought it and uh, they are going to be trying to sell it for us on consignment. We've been trying to sell it privately for a while and uh, have had uh, no luck, so this is the next step that we're taking. We're approaching wet season in Florida, so what happens is my the back part of my property will often flood during wet season, and since the RV sits back there, that means that once that happens, getting it out of the backyard will be very difficult. So. Uh, this is really the time to do it, otherwise we would have been kind of uh, stuck back there for probably three or four more months. We were traveling about 45 miles an hour. The, the, the truck feels all right, you know, going this speed. Getting up on the highway is going to be a different story. Yeah, this is obviously at the limit of what a Tacoma uh, can pull. And many people will say that you shouldn't even go this high. But again, this is a, this is a short journey, probably less than 20 miles, or about 20 miles on uh, flat terrain. I have a 10,000 pound stabilizing hitch. So I'm confident we'll be okay. I am sporting my temporary towing mirrors on both sides. Definitely helpful. When I did this before with my test, I only had uh, a towing mirror on the driver's side. So now I have one on the passenger side as well. So uh, it gives me a better idea of uh, how I'm oriented in the road. So the Tacoma has been hooked up to the RV uh, just to move it around the backyard several times. Might, maybe six or seven times we moved it to different spots around the backyard. But literally, it has, <coughs> Tacoma has not had this thing back out on the road since I made the last video, believe it or not. Uh, getting, getting the RV back out of the backyard last night was uh, pretty uh, difficult. We wound up having literally less than an inch of clearance on the one side as we came out. I actually had to remove the gate to the backyard and it was so close that I had to turn the one hinge pin for the gate down just to clear the fitting for the ladder on the RV so yeah it couldn't really get much closer than uh, we, we cut it last night and for those of you that don't know this is this is a 2016 Tacoma TRD Sport uh, not modified in any way other than the uh, the 10 pound well it does have the, the factory towing package which includes a uh, extra oil and transmission cooler had the, had the, the hitch receiver this like I mentioned before this has a 10,000 pound hitch that I bought when uh, when we bought the RV um, and the RV that I'm towing is a Coleman light 2605 RL so it's a 26 fit 26 foot RV traveling about 55 um, I don't I don't envision me going much above 60 once we get on the interstate even though the speed limit 70 if it's anything like before the truck has to work very very hard to keep it up at that kind of speed so I don't think I'm gonna be traveling much beyond 60 miles an hour the entire way up until this point I still have the ECT power button turned off which I guess is used sometimes in towing it, it, it holds the shift points a little bit higher I believe so right now I'm still doing fine unfortunately we are in uh, rush hour traffic it is Wednesday morning so yeah, this isn't the ideal time to do it uh, traffic wise but we're just gonna keep moving along slow and steady so once you're up to speed and rolling it feels fine as your speed is changing changing you can feel a little little bit of the the back and forth as the trailer is is pushing the Tacoma kind of a rocking sensation forwards and backwards 
which is the way it was before. Like I said, this is at the limit of what a Tacoma uh, can do, and, and if you want to have an, a more adequate safety barrier, a lot of people would not recommend that you tow something this large. So, as I said, I am aware of that. As part of the hitch, I also had a uh, electric brake controller installed. So brake, braking with the trailer really isn't an issue at all. You know, it activates the brakes on the trailer as well as the Tacoma. So I, I've never noticed any sort of uh, issue with stopping power. I don't think you can get a much more opposite driving feeling uh, than uh, comparing driving the Tesla to this. <laughs> I mean, the Tesla is quick and responsive and uh, super powerful. And, and right now I feel like I'm, uh, I'm navigating a ship with no motor and just sails. We're just, we're just we're plodding along. Uh, as fast as the wind will take us, which isn't very fast. We're almost to the uh, highway on ramp, so that's when the truck really starts to get the get the workout hard. Five north. All right, here we go. The fun begins. I'm behind the track, a um, dump truck, but I don't really care, you know, because I'm going slow, they're going slow, so. Proceed on I-75 north. go trying to accelerate up the on-ramp all right so we're cruising to be quite honest 55 feels it feels fast enough for me trucks the trucks handling it okay but I just I don't know I, I just don't like the sensation of, of you know I have cars going by I can feel it pushing on the trailer I just don't like the feeling so I'm gonna keep it about this speed Unfortunately, I have about 25 miles to go before I get off the freeway, so. If there's no one around me on the highway, it's fine, but what happens is, like, as, as vehicles that are going really fast, or big vehicles like a truck come next to me, their wind hits the ass end of the, of the uh, RV and kind of just, it, it makes, makes the whole rig wiggle somewhat. So, it's a little disconcerting. But I'm doing fine. You know, we got, uh, let's see, 18 miles to go, so. I'll be fine, just gonna keep it slow. Tacomas definitely will not get good fuel economy when towing trailers. At least of this size. Alright, we made it to my exit. Without incident, luckily. So, with any luck, I will be at the dealership within a few minutes. Alright. My hitch held up, we're here. I just have to find out what we do with it. All right, I need to swing around and park it over there. Hopefully we can do that. All right, someone's supposed to be coming out to uh, help me unhook here. And uh, this is where it shall reside. All right, so the trailer is now dropped off. Um, it's probably about a 40 mile drive altogether, so it's, it's, it's about double the length of my initial test drive with the trailer. The Tacoma did fine. I definitely would not want to be going long distances in this configuration, but to uh, just do a short run, get handled it well, never saw any sort of increase in uh, engine temperature. Stayed very steady. The only thing I noticed was the uh, gas mileage was terrible, as you would imagine. And hopefully this results in the trailer getting sold. We'll see. Crossing our fingers. So if you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're going to hit that subscribe button, you might as well hit the notify bell as well, so you're notified of new videos. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. I mean, if, if you really feel the need to say, hey, you know, that's too much, too much for your Tacoma to, to tow, I'm already conceding that it probably is. So, but if you want to say it anyways, you can, uh, and, and leave your other feedback, questions, and ideas, and thoughts below. I'm now in the first day of my seven-day staycation, so you'll be seeing more of me for sure. That's all I have for now. Until next time, Duff Fan out.